Russia has officially been banned for next season's European competitions and that's good news for Scotland. Welcome back guys to sort of Scotland TV. It's been a while since I uploaded a video but we're back and we're back with some good news for a change. Very good news in fact because Russia have officially been ruled out of next season's Champions League, Europa League and Europa League conference competitions. They have been banned for I think the foreseeable future, I don't know how long it's going to last, but next season they are out. There will be no Russian teams competing in Europe, which helps Scotland. It moves Scotland above Russia in the coefficients and more importantly it guarantees Scotland a team in the Champions League group stage. Now that team will probably be Celtic and it's a bit hard. I feel a bit sorry for Rangers, they have been a bit hard done by. It's basically Rangers over the past couple of seasons is their hard work in Europe. It's been Rangers progressing to the latter stages that has boosted the Scotland coefficient. But they've not won the league. They're not able to take advantage of that. And now it's going to be Celtic that get into the, the group stage of European football. So, you know what? That's just how it goes. You have to win the league and Rangers haven't done that. So they've only themselves to blame. But there is good news for Rangers. It means they will now... Go into the Europa League, the Champions League qualifying third round, obviously, when they finish second. And regardless of whether Rangers win that, they win a playoff, or whether they lose that and lose a playoff, Rangers will definitely, at least the bare minimum, go into the Europa League group stage. So whether they lose in the qualifying round three, even if they get past that round and lose in the playoffs, Rangers are guaranteed a Europa League group stage spot. But, um, I mean, Rangers, I assume, will be seeded for the Champions League qualifiers. So they've got a good chance of making the Champions League. And, of course, if they win the Europa League this season, then they will also be guaranteed uh, Champions League football group stage next year. So if Rangers can win the Europa League, we'll have two teams in the, the group stage of the Champions League. And that would be epic, man. It would absolutely be epic. As for Hearts, pretty much nothing changes for Hearts. We know that we're guaranteed... Um, group stage football will be in a playoff. If we win the playoff, we'll be in the Europa League. If we lose the playoff, we'll be in the Europa League Conference. Either way, hearts are guaranteed, uh, you know, group stage football in a European competition, which is phenomenal. And as for the teams that finish fourth and fifth, they will go into the Europa League qualifying rounds in round three and two, respectively. So, uh, yeah, big news there. Russia being banned. Scotland now guaranteed a team in the Champions League group stage. And how good is it that Scotland are now back into the top ten of the coefficient? I don't understand why like a lot of teams, especially old firm fans, they won't support any other Scottish side in Europe. I don't get it. Isn't it much better? Now, Scotland actually being a force in European football and getting like two teams in the Champions League and getting five teams overall, you know, with the option to get into Europe rather than where we were, let's say, like five, six years ago, where, you know, our European, uh, our European uh, standard was terrible. You know, you, you felt like n no team was ever going to do anything and Celtic were getting knocked out every single season in Champions League qualifiers. But now we're guaranteed a team in the Champions League, qualify uh, Champions League group stage. And I also feel like whoever comes second, if it be Rangers, have a good chance of making it through. So, I mean, yeah, no, I know I always support Scottish teams in Europe. I don't know why people don't. I would rather a Scottish league that is thriving and in the top 10. I mean, who cares if your team's the best, but Scotland's a pub league. I mean, do you really want that? Down like 35th, 40th in the European coefficients? Wouldn't you rather the league in general as a whole be better? Because the better the league is, the better the teams will be. I mean, let, let's make no mistake about it. The better Celtic are, the better Rangers will be in face of first. So the better Rangers are, the better Celtic will be. And, you know, the better Rangers and Celtic are, the, be the better the rest of the league will be. You know, that's how it works. If you've got a good league, the teams in the league will be good. If the league's shit, then the, <laughs> the teams in the league won't be as good. It's as simple as that. So for me, I'm always supporting Scottish teams in Europe. And this season, come group stage time, we're going to have three teams at least to represent Scotland and possibly even more if the fourth and fifth teams in the Scottish Premiership can somehow qualify for the Europa Conference League. Anyway, guys, that is it. Just wanted to make a quick video. Also, the congestion of the fixture list is going to be absolutely insane with the Winter World Cup. Hearts, Rangers and Celtic, they're, they're, come like January, they are going to be playing like a game every three days. It's going to be non-stop football for those three clubs and if anyone else makes it through. So, it's going to be a lot of fixtures, which is great. 
And it's, yes, yeah, loads of European football, which is great. And it means Scotland, domestically, we're doing great. Um, National-wise, national we're also doing great. You know, Stevie Clark has come in, he's done a great job. We could be booking our place at the World Cup, depending on how the fixture against Ukraine and then Wales goes. So, I mean, yeah, great time for Scotland. This is probably the strongest I think Scotland's been sitting in, in perhaps my lifetime. I mean, I, I can't remember, uh, since following football, I can't, remember, I can't remember a better time for Scotland. Definitely not. Uh, yeah, guys, anyway, that may, maybe around 2007, 2008, you know, 2000, the 2007, 8 season, we had Walter Smith, who was, you know, doing really well. We beat France back to back in the, the European qualifying group with three teams in Europe, Scotland, Rangers, Celtic and Aberdeen. So maybe since 2008, this is the best we've been. But even then, I would say we're in a stronger position now than we were in 2008, guys. Let us know what you think down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. But until then, peace.